All right, and here we have the Galaxy S4. We've already disassembled it completely, of course, other than the vibrator. Uh, but now I'm going to show you one more screen separation of the uh, Galaxy S4 glass from the LCD. And of course, the LCD is good. We're going to use our Wagner heat gun, put it on low. Gonna heat it. Just wanna make sure it's a little bit too hot to touch. Okay, and then we're gonna start from an area where it's already been sort of cracked. Like right here. Okay, we're gonna kinda dig in. And we're gonna begin the separation. Okay. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the glass is beginning to separate from the LCD. Uh, this is a uh, $60 repair. Uh, you can get these screens for as cheap as $4 now online. Okay. There we go. I'm going to hit some more. And I don't know if you can catch that screen separating. Is it, uh, is it, I don't know if it's showing, but, uh, the glass is slowly separating from the LCD, as you can see. Just want to work your way through like that. Okay, just always be patient. Okay. And as you can see, we already have one third of the phone done. And we're just going to keep on working our way. And as I mentioned in my video uh, regarding the business aspect, uh, you can charge about $60 for this particular repair. It only takes about 30 minutes, uh, so 60 bucks for 30 minutes, in, in my opinion, is not a bad uh, turnaround. It also requires such little uh, equipment. You just need a couple knives, a heat gun. You obviously need the new screen. You need some double-sided adhesive and you need some local glue and uh, of course if you want to really accelerate the repair then you just need some a black light and uh, if you want to accelerate the treat the healing the glue healing uh, which is another fancy way of saying the drying of the local glue then all you need is the UV light and if you're a girl that uses a, a UV lamp for drying your fingernails, then you don't even need to buy another one. Uh, as far as you just need to invest 25 bucks in a UV lamp, two dollars on a black light, five dollars on two knives, maybe another 20 bucks on this heat gun, four dollars on the screen, uh, and already on your first repair, you're gonna have made all your money back and some uh, profit. Uh, so it's a lucrative business. Now imagine doing one or two of these a day, right? Imagine if you're at your school campus and you put a small uh, sign up on the classified saying that you do screen repairs. Imagine just doing five of these per day. You pay for your whole tuition uh, while you finish school. We're going to separate it. Just you always be patient. And voila. All right, so now that we have the screen cleaned up and disassembled, uh, I, sh I wanted to let you know that I spent probably at least 15 minutes repeating this cleaning process with some isopropyl alcohol. And again, 99%. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I kind of like things to be 
squeaky clean or as clean as possible before I uh, reassemble them. So there you go. You got a really clean screen. I'm going to show you what to do with this double sided adhesive as you can see right here. Uh, I did ask you to buy these, these adhesive strips. You can get them from any wholesaler uh, or even online for, for ridiculously cheap. It's cheap as um, $5. And as you can see, I'm just lining it up, realigning everything. Okay. Thank you. And then you're just going to cut it right back. Yeah, it is. We're going to cut it again. Okay. Align the top this time. Okay. Alrighty. And then we're going to cut that side. And then we're going to get a longer strip for the sides. Um, but I want you to notice what I do here. Um, after you cut it. <clears throat> after you cut it and you align it notice how I leave a slight gap between the f the strings b between the adhesive strips and I'll show you why later uh, when you reapply the loco glue uh, you're going to want to allow some to escape so there's no bubbles you see that little gap right there and there's also a top gap right there I'm going to do the same with this side I'll leave a small gap and you'll see why in a few seconds. Uh, again, you're gonna align it, leave just a small gap right there. And, uh, this will not affect performance whatsoever. Alrighty. So there we go. We're gonna use some ice purple. Clean it a couple more times. We're almost done here. Just clean it. Clean it. All right. We're gonna take our exacto and remove the outside strip, leaving just the tape. Okay, as you can see, bam, leaving just the tape. And on this side. And then finally, the bottom side. Okay, voila. We're going to put our home button back on there. We're going to get the liquid optical adhesive. And again, as I mentioned in my last video, you're going to make that double arrow. One arrow like that. And then another arrow facing the other way. Um, just tap it to pop the bubbles. And then a small little bitty stick in the middle like that to form a cross. That's your go-to shape. That shape will never fail you. Okay? And then finally we're going to put the new screen on. Starting with the home button area. We're going to work our way to the top. As you can see that it starts at the bottom. And we're going to work our way to the top. Okay, just keep in mind you just want to go slow. As long as you don't rush it, guarantee it you're not going to have any bubbles. There we go. Just like that. Okay, you're going to get your block binder clips. I'm uh, going to clip one on the top. I'm going to clip another one on the bottom. And then as you notice, the local glue is starting to already spread. And then last step here, we're going to put this with a black light five minutes later. That will totally spread out. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot.